we have another problem from JE 2016 again it's a rotation problem and this is another problem that I actually admire from 2000 actually in JE 2016 we had quite a good number of rotation problem that actually tested the students about their skills of rotational mechanics we don't usually get such problems every time in rotation or every time in J advanced but this actually uh, proves the metal of J advanced okay so let me read out this problem for you people a roller is made up of joining two cones at their center so we have two cones their centers are connected and this point has been named as O it is kept on two rails AB and CD so we have two rails AB and CD which are placed symmetrically see figure so we have two rails which have been placed symmetrically with its axis perpendicular to CD so the axis of this uh, uh, I mean this cones the axis of this cones is perpendicular to this ax rail CD we have this angle as 90 degree ok so and the center O at the center of the line joining A, B and C, D A, B and C, D line joining A, B and C, D this O line at the center of these two so if we mark a point which cuts the axis of this two cones the rail A, B cuts the axis of the two cones at P and C, D cuts the axis of the two cones at Q then the midpoint of P, Q is O ok that is what the question says Oh, at the center of line joining AB and CDC figure it is given a light push so we push it slightly light push so that it starts rolling with its center of mass moving parallel to CD so it starts rolling this term is again important we mark it down rolling it starts rolling with its center of mass parallel to CD in the direction shown as it moves roller will tend to move so as this roll as this cone move on the two rails roller moves on the two rails with the, the question says the roller will move turn left and then turn right alternately alternately so they mean to say first it moves left then it moves right which obviously doesn't look to be the correct answer then there are the second option is turn left third option is turn right and the fourth option is go straight it may go straight that is what they mean to say we have to check how to check this one the important information regarding this is it is undergoing pure rolling so as it moves initially the this distance and this distance we are seeing but as it moves further when it comes somewhere here okay when it comes somewhere here this distance let's call this as R A B R A B and this as R C D obviously when it move, has moved a distance it is moving symmetrically so it moves straight forward it's undergoing pure rolling so this distance will the distance of this center O from the A B track will reduce so we will have I will write it here we will have R A B less than R C D okay but since it is undergoing pure rolling we will be having this is being a rigid body the omega at any point here or omega at any point here will be same the point which is in contact here with the rail will have zero velocity because the track is at rest this two will have zero velocity because this two is at rest but a point which is just above let's call that point to be P which is just above the contact point P should have a velocity velocity of point P should have omega R A B and the velocity of point Q which is just above the contact here will have velocity V Q is equal to omega R C D so Q will have a velocity omega R C D and P will have a velocity omega R A B now since AB is less than CD, we have VP, 
we will be having VP at less than VQ. VP will be less than VQ. VP will be less than VQ. Because omega will be same since it is a rigid body. So omega is same but RAB is less than RCB. So VP will be less than VQ. I am not telling the contact point is having different velocity. Since it is pure rolling, undergoing pure rolling. So contact point is having zero velocity. But the point which is just above the contact. Okay, along the on the axis that is P will be having omega R A B and the Q which is above the contact point, just above the contact point on the axis will be having velocity V Q is equal to omega R C D. Obviously, V P is less than V Q. So if P is less than velocity of P is less than Q, so it will be obviously turning like this and the dumbbell set or the two cone system will turn toward left. Okay, we can understand it like this. Also, if we want to find the angular velocity of Q with respect to P, so if we find the angular velocity of Q with respect to P, it will be VQ minus VP upon the distance between them. The distance, let's call this distance as L between them. So L which comes out to be positive so it is rotating this way okay so from here we can easily conclude that the dumbbell will turn towards left because this point is having a greater velocity and this point is having a lesser velocity if we sit here if we are sitting here we would see that this is turning this way because it has a velocity which is greater than if we are here vp is something let's say some 5 then VQ is some 8. So, 5 turn we won't see. We will see the extra 3 that it has. And with that extra 3, it will appear to be moving towards left. So, from here we can easily can understand it. That it turns towards left. We can also understand it by taking the geometry and taking the normal reactions and all those stuffs. Which will be difficult to represent on board. But we can still conclude this problem as it will turn towards left. So this was another one and we have got the answer for this one. It will turn towards left. Thank you for listening to